the three reasons why you need to add a skincare routine to your makeup routine. Make sure that you identify what are the problem areas on your skin. It's gonna soften your skin. Prepare the skin for makeup. You need to have a skincare routine. I'm showing you close up right now what my skin looks like. I don't use filters. If you know, you know. Your skin is going to be smooth, period. Soft, supple, beautiful, delicious skin. Let's face it, a lot of times people are like, oh, your makeup looks so good, your skin looks so good. When I do my face, my face does not look like yours. And honestly, doing makeup, in my opinion, is a two-part series or a two-part idea, right? It's not just about finding your right foundation, finding the correct powder and concealer and knowing how to highlight and contour. Although all of that is true, what's also true is that you need to have a skincare routine. I can say that when I first started doing makeup, I don't know what I was doing. Doing. I did not have a skincare routine. I can't even recall what I was using to wash my face. And I can't even lie, I kept hearing about it and I felt like I needed to have one in order to be credible. I am so glad that I honestly started one because it has made a huge difference with my skin. I'm showing you close up right now what my skin looks like. I don't use filters. If you know, you know. I love to keep it all the way real when it comes to that. So a skincare routine is so important and here are three reasons why. First reason is to treat your problem areas. I have had acne rosacea for a long, long time. So when I think of skincare, I guess you can say that I was doing a routine because I was using a treatment treatment for my acne rosacea. But outside of that, I was not doing anything else. So the first step is to make sure that you identify what are the problem areas on your skin and then find a solution to treat that. So if it's acne, if it's rosacea, if it's acne rosacea, if it's psoriasis, if it's just cysts, if it's dry skin, if it's whatever else, it's important in my opinion to see a dermatologist in order for you to address whatever those concerns are. Because you can use all of the over-the-counter products in the world. You can go to every esthetician and do all the facials in the world, but in my opinion, none of that will surpass what a prescription product would do for your skin. Like, I just don't understand. I don't go and get facials. I've had one in my life and I actually intentionally don't get facials because I like knowing that what I do at home in addition to my prescription treatment in genetics, let's be honest, right, is what is helping my skin just remain this amazing, right? So treat the problem areas, but of course, first identify what those problem areas are right you gotta figure that out because it could be dry skin it could be acne it could be both it could be acne around the perimeter of your hairline because of a hat or a head tie that you wear often it could be acne around your jawline because of hormones right there are a lot of different reasons that can cause it i would never trust an influencer or a content creator to diagnose what could be happening on the inside of your body that is showing up on the outside of your body so that's why i'm a huge proponent of going to see a doctor to figure that out once you've done that or let's say that you don't have any skin issues per se that need a treatment, fine. Then the next reason why you need a skincare routine in addition to your makeup routine is because it's gonna soften your skin, right? Put aside any prescription treatment, put aside all of that stuff. The skincare routine itself is going to soften your skin. I was shocked when I had begun doing my skincare routine using Mario Badescu, honey. Cause at that time, Mario Badescu was, it was like all the rave, right? The facial spray and all of that. So I literally went and got the whole line and that's what I was using. It's not prescription grade, but because I was using it in a methodical way, the top dead layer of my skin was falling off. Like it was melting off. I was getting that dead skin off and underneath it is obviously softer, plumper, younger, youthful skin. So why not have a routine that's gonna soften all of that up? Obviously when you're using active products like retinol, which is going to speed the skin cell turnover, right? Because as we get older, the dead skin takes longer to fall off, to melt off. So using retinol helps to speed that process up to keep your skin clear and smooth and soft. If you're gonna use a product like niacinamide, it's gonna help to brighten up dark spots and also balance oil production. If you're gonna use hyaluronic acid, that's going to draw moisture into your skin, help it feel hydrated. You definitely wanna follow up on that with a moisturizer. You see what I mean? If you're gonna use vitamin C, that's great for lightening dark spots. That's a great antioxidant, perfect to pair with an SP. SPF, so it'd be vitamin C moisturized with an SPF, you see? So if you're using these products on a day-to-day -day basis, your skin is going to be smooth, period. Now, the prescription strength products, in my, in my case, is what keeps my skin smooth from the acne breakouts. 
okay? And then the other products that I use, like I just mentioned, those products help keep my skin smooth in its entirety. So you can, in my case, right, have smooth skin, but it be bumpy, right? Understand the caveat there. It's smooth elsewhere, but it's bumpy because I have rashes or I have acne. But to me, it's a two-prong effort where you have the prescription strength product if you have a condition like me or just have acne because you're human. And then you have the other prong, which is just your day-to-day -day maintenance of the face. And that is going to keep the skin soft. Of course, I still encounter having dead skin patches, whatever, because my prescription is a combination of niacinamide, clindamycin, which is for the acne, and tretinoin, which is prescription grade retinol. It's strong, honey. A piece, like a pea-sized one pump amount on the whole face, that stuff is good. And it's so good that it causes an irritation. And I say this in quotes because I actually like that irritation, which is the peeling of the skin. I'd be seeing crumbles of skin like in these areas and stuff. And I enjoy just scrubbing it off because again, underneath it is soft, supple, beautiful, delicious skin. So you definitely want to make sure that you are doing both of those because again, smooth, soft skin, it's going to look so good under makeup. There's nothing like it. You have to do these things, okay? And then primer, prepare the skin for makeup. So when I say primer, I'm also talking about the skincare routine and an actual makeup primer. So let's go back to the skincare routine again, right? Because this is what we're here for. The skincare routine is going to prime the face for makeup. I never go from a freshly washed face into primer or into foundation. That is horrendous. Please, if you do that, first of all, out yourself, comment, let me know. And also, please stop. That is not gonna help you. Hydrated, youthful, delicious, supple skin looks so good under a full face of makeup or even a skin tint or whatever you decide to do that day or nothing or nothing, right? Because you could also focus on your skincare routine, whether it's simple or complex and just because you're using the right products, right, for you. And your skin just looks so smooth and clear. Like maybe you don't want to do makeup. You don't have to, right? This is not by force. When you're by force, I say, Muza. It's what you want to do. I love a good full face, but I also love to go with just my skincare, okay? So you want to make sure that you're just prepping your skin for the makeup. So the skincare process is the prep, okay? Once you've done that, then you use a primer for the makeup. You see what I'm saying? So you're priming or prepping twice. Okay, first the skincare, then the primer. And the primer, I've done a video on this and I've discussed it in several videos as well. That depends on the outcome that you want from the makeup. Now, not to confuse you, the primer and the makeup you choose will also create the outcome. But if we're talking about just the primer itself, the primer, again, is dependent upon how you want your face to look at the end. Do your skincare routine. I'm in my late 30s. I ain't got time to be dry with my skincare routine. So my skincare routine, I focus on hydration. When I finish my skincare routine, I want to look Look hydrated. I don't want to finish my skincare routine and look dry. That's not what I want. Now, if you are extremely oily and you want to look dry, you can go with a routine that'll make you dry. I've done a few routines here. Take a look at those videos on my channel. And I also discuss this a lot on Instagram and TikTok. But you know, do your skincare routine, okay? Then your primer, right? So for me, I focus solely on hydration. Then when I get to my primer, I usually want to be matte. I understand it. I get it, okay? I usually want to go matte because I I want to prep the skin for a more satin, balanced look where with makeup, I hope you're not confused. If you are or are not, comment and let me know. With makeup, I want to look satin, okay? So right now you see natural shine going on, not too greasy. But without makeup, I want to look shiny because I want to look glowy, supple, youthful. I want my skin to look delicious. I don't like for my bare skin face to look dry, okay? So then you prime your face and then you go on with your foundation, your concealer and everything everything else, but the primer also helps to achieve that look that you want, be it very dry or really hydrated. So you can double down with your primer and it can be really hydrating, right? It all depends on how you want your face to look in the end. So those are the three reasons why you need to add a skincare routine to your makeup routine. I hope that that was helpful for you. I wanted to be descriptive because I tried my best to make sure that you understand what I'm saying and why. If any errors are not clear, please comment and let me know. If you want another video explaining any part of what I said, also comment and let me know. Follow me on all socials and I'll leave two videos for you to choose from to watch some more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.